So I'm in the shop today with Kanan, just uh, playing around a little bit. Been working on the bibster, trying to figure out this whole roof thing. So ran into a couple little kinks, but uh, I think I've got an idea how I can fix it. Mom, Dad. Yeah. Hey, shop. Shop. We're out in the shop. Say, we're out in the shop. Working. Huh. Anyway, I figured I would put a little project together for you guys, a little video, and get Kanan to help me. So one of the things that I have, uh, one of the things I need to fix here in the shop is that I don't have proper storage for all my filler rod. So with the TIG welder, you've got filler rod, you've got, you've got aluminum. I've actually got two kinds of aluminum. Um, I've got the stuff that I use for stainless and I've got the stuff that I use for mild steel. So what I did is I went to Lowe's today, got some two inch PVC and an assortment of end caps and what? Where's the shop? We're working, huh? Oh, be careful. Yeah, be careful. And then uh, some of these reducers that just slide right over the tops. So as you can imagine, you can probably see what I'm about to do, but I'll put a cap on one end, this reducer piece, and then I'll probably cut these tubes in half. Cap on one side, that'll be the top that you can pull off and on. They'll seal everything up except for the joint that's in here. And voila, you have storage. I don't think I, I don't think I got enough tubes, but it should you should at least get the idea. What? Huh? You went back? Okay, hang on. Back, back, back. Is that, is that your tool? Hmm? Is that your tool, Bubba? All right, there you go. A nice, simple, easy way to store your filler rod. So I've just got these broke up. Uh, ER 5356 and 4030, 4043, which is your aluminum. I got your ER 70, which is for your mild steel. That's your general purpose filler rod. And then I've got my stainless, my 308L out here. And if I wanted to, I could do like uh, several different varieties of stainless or actually add more tubes. I've just temporarily got these kind of zip tied onto the welder now and at some point I'll do something a little more permanent, maybe drill some holes and actually mount them in a row or something. Maybe not even on the welder, maybe on the welding table. Uh, I'm getting ready to move the shop I think so um, I'm not going to really mount them right now but you can see that these will actually work very well, keep dirt and dust off of them, keep everything organized so you know what you have and what you don't have. And for what 20 bucks you could do the same this is all two inch PVC and just the caps and the uh, the joiners like I said you glue everything up except for the top piece obviously the bottoms are 
probably two foot and this is just a one foot top and when you add it all together it's got enough room where your filler can fit so anyway just quick tip hope you enjoyed that I don't know something a little different as always thank you for joining me I'll see you guys some more this week go do work son